A Cobb County first grader is thriving today after a pretty rough start in life. Axel Crate was just six weeks old when he had to undergo emergency heart surgery. And the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with his remarkable story. And Christine and Tom, I think, you know, Axel was probably too young to recall a lot of that first year of his life when he went through all of this, but his mother, Tara, remembers everything. His diagnosis, his heart surgery, and what they went through to get Axel where he is today. On the surface, Axel Crate seems like a pretty typical first grader playing with his big sister Layla and showing few signs their mom Tara Crate says of everything he's been through that they've been through. You realize how much of a miracle he is and how much of a miracle that you've walked through in a journey. When I got pregnant with Axel, it was actually all a surprise um, just from the beginning. During a pregnancy checkup, a doctor heard a heart murmur, but a specialist reassured Tara and her husband Justin their baby was fine. And Axel seemed healthy when he was born in August of 2017 at Northside Hospital. But the morning the crates were supposed to take their baby home, Tara says, a nurse came in looking worried and she asked us how long he had been breathing or looked the way that he looked axel who had fluid in his lungs was taken by ambulance to children's health care of atlanta at eggleston for more tests two days later the crates were sent home and told to keep an eye on him but when tara brought axel to the cardiologist for a six-week checkup he told her to take her baby back to children's right away i just remember losing it in that moment. Axel had three congenital heart defects, the most critical, a coarctation of his aorta, a severe narrowing of the main blood vessel that carries oxygen-rich blood from Axel's heart to the rest of his body. Typically, these infants will require a corrective heart surgery within the first year of life. If, it, if you're not able to provide the surgery within the first year of life, um, they will not survive. Dr. Divya Tsuthar, an assistant professor of pediatrics at Emory School of Medicine and a children's health care cardiologist, says the first warning sign parents may notice is that a baby stops feeding normally. They're not able to take their bottle. They are either extremely fussy or at times they are just not active. They're just like sleepy and lethargic. Axel, whose heart was about the size of a walnut, was now facing cardiothoracic surgery. I'm someone who tries to have all of my hope and strength and faith in God that this won't be us, this won't be our situation, and it was and it's extremely scary. But instead of opening Axel's chest, children's surgeons went in through his side to repair his aorta. Several hours later, in the cardiac ICU. He looked so delicate and fragile. I thought, can I touch him? Am I allowed to hold his hand? It has been six years. Axel Crate still has some muscle weakness on his left side, but he's come a long way. And Tara Crate knows other families will follow in their footsteps. For people that are scared, the advice is ask questions. You are your child's best advocate. No one knows your child the way that you do. Hold on to your hope because hope is what is going to get you through. And Tara Crate wants families to know that the American Heart Association can help connect them with information and support that they might need. So she says you do not have to face this alone. And she said it was really helpful for them to talk to parents who had already been down this road before, mm -hmm. you know, and know that there's hope and there's a future. Just incredible how they can go in from the side arthroscopically yeah, and work incredible. on such a tiny heart. Yeah. It's amazing what doctors can yeah. do. All right, Beth, thanks so much. And we do want to remind you to join Fox 5 at the American Heart Association's Greater Atlanta Heart Walk. It happens in person at Atlantic Station this Saturday, September 30th. You can register now at greateratlantaheartwalk.org to walk for heart disease and stroke. David.